For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Well, welcome to another edition of the uh, Focus program. We're glad you are along. We're uh, getting into the uh, Christmas season. Lots of events going on throughout the, uh, the area. And great uh, plays and uh, concerts are going on at the Performing Arts Center in East China on Meisner Road. You should make sure you get in and see some of the wonderful things that the high schoolers are doing. Uh, we've got uh, some gentlemen with us today. They're going to talk to us about the Foster Grandparent Program. Joining us now is... Uh, Jason Crawford from uh, the Council on Aging and from uh, Washington Life Center, uh, Kevin Batch Eldor. Batch Eldor. Yeah. Batch Eldor, I got it right. Yep. Good to see you. Welcome to you, both of you gentlemen. Uh, we've had a guest a year or two ago from foster grandparents. What, it was exciting. We got some new information, but okay. what's going on with the program now? Yeah, well, basically the foster grandparent program, we have about 70 uh, total grandparents all throughout. Really? Yep, um, they're all throughout St. Clair County. Uh, they range from ages 55. All we have some in their 90s that are actually volunteering. And what we are looking for the foster grandparents to do is to just show some genuine love and encouragement and tutor and mentor um, young children. Wow. Yeah. Where, do they, where do they do that? Um, they do this all over the county in various elementary schools, Head Start locations. <laughs> um, we have some of the YMCA and uh, uh, local reading program. Do they go into the schools? Yep, uh, they go into the schools. They're in a supervised setting with the teacher. Uh, they volunteer a minimum of 15 hours a week. Um, they're allowed to be a grandparent to any child in the classroom, uh, but there's always those few children that the teacher will have in mind that needs a little extra TLC care and attention. Uh, so the grandparent really will spend some time working with the child if it's uh, helping them read with uh, basic math, um, just encouraging them and, and being a friend to them. Okay, I'm gonna take a little short break and get a, something to drink here. Come on in, whoever's there. Oh, it's only Deb. <laughs> I, I, I guess start right coughing here. Grab a water. I got all. No, he had to get a drink. He right. said. Oh. Yeah, you're I good. Call her Walker. Right. I I was you guys up. Look, at that, look at this one here. <laughs> Might want to clarify. I was just thinking that he's going to jump into. I'll be right with uh, you, yeah. Deb. Ask me something about foster grandparents. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. I was glad. Yeah. Glad that you had to grab something <laughs> to drink. Yeah. Um, he's here for the foster grandparent program. I'm basically here to let folks, your viewers, know about what the centers have to offer for the seniors that... Oh, okay, you know, good. Yeah, I'm, good. I'm, I'm uh, the new programmer down in Marine City. For oh, the okay, program. good. Uh, got the phone call this morning to... <laughs> Show up. Here I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you still rolling, uh, Jared? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Five, four, and then uh, why don't you open on me or something? Because your last shot was probably him. Five, four, three. And joining you, as I said, is Kevin Batch Eldor from Washington Life Center. And you're part of the, the Foster Grandparent Program, and also you're the new coordinator of programs at Washington Life? Right. Um, the Council on Aging has member centers, Yale, KPAC, Port Huron, and Marine City. Uh, and December is a very busy month, as you yeah. just mentioned. Um, as a group, some of the centers were going to see that new movie out, Just Getting Started, which uh, takes place in... Uh, a senior center or senior community and some of the antics that go on through the holidays and so that gives an opportunity for seniors from around the county to do something together and get connected um, so after the movie we're going to have a little dinner and we'll we're going to oh, we're going to cruise around on the buses and take a look look at the christmas lights in the oh, community and, wonderful and uh, probably some christmas carols along the way i would not doubt that there will be a few christmas carols i think that's probably a, a good possibility huh? are you going to lead them in singing or well there'll be two buses or three buses so uh maybe i'm one of them sure maybe you're one of my I would be bad. I'd be loud enough key, so that would, it would <laughs> it all, It's me. all in the joy of the holiday. It's all together, right? Uh, Washington Life Center is a very active place. I know we've had the interviews with the gentlemen from the museum, the Mil military museum yeah, the over Veterans the years. Museum. Yep. And, uh, uh, but there's more going on every day, isn't there? Certainly is. Um, well, especially for December, we have our 12 days of musical entertainment at the center um, featuring 
uh, closing time band with a special guest. Um, also our Head Start children that attend there, they're going to come do their Christmas program for all the seniors. Um, Ricky and Dave, who travel all the way from Clinton Township. Um, Elfie and Jack Wellington from Port Huron will come down with their Jazzy Blues Good. Christmas program. Uh, just a lot, of, and naturally some karaoke music, and our, our members, that uh, the dancing group that we have there, our, their dancing troupe will perform. Is there a membership? There's a $10 annual membership. Uh, 15 oh my God, that's each. not bad. It's a great deal, and 15 for a couple. So between all of the classes that we have throughout the year, it's a great value. Washington Life Center used to be the Washington Elementary School in Marine City, but for those that might not know, maybe have never heard of it, where is it? Uh, it'd be 403 North Mary Street. Um, it'd be just north of town off from Broadway, about two blocks off from the water. Okay, all right. The Washington Life Center uh, has people from the uh, foster grandparent program Mm -hmm. uh, involved? Yeah, there are. There is a Head Start location uh, with two classrooms inside the Washington Life Center. We ha we have had foster grandparents before. Um, there is an opening uh, there to have some foster grandparents. Oh, good. And even as you continue down river, uh, there's openings at Algonquin mm -hmm. um, Elementary School in Algonac, um, Holy Cross Catholic School in Marine City. And then even Pine River and Gearing and St. Clair, all the way up through Marysville into the Port Huron Area School District. So you got 70 slots or 70 people um, now? We, we have 70 uh, total grandparents, just over 70. And uh, with the locations I already mentioned, we have Yale and KPAC. And uh, we are always looking for foster grandparents. There is always a need for... Uh, people to come into the schools and help work with children and to encourage them. And How do them. I qualify? Uh, you need to be a minimum of uh, 55 years of age um, and there is an income guidelines uh, you have to meet. Um, it comes to be uh, $2,000 ten dollars uh, per month of income for a, a one-person household um, or approximately twenty seven thousand I'm sorry twenty seven hundred dollars total uh, for a two-person uh, household okay yep. we're, we're rolling some pictures back here if Jared will run through those again this is sort of the the kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, thing that happens they're they're interacting with the students yep yep uh, you can see right there they're working with a child one-on-one -on -one. Uh, then there's some group activities, uh, you know, they're out here working on some math and just some one-on-one -on -one stuff. There's a grandma reading uh, to a, a, a group of children. Um, those are just some of the, the basic tasks that a teacher would do, but the grandparent can come alongside um, and just really give some extra care and attention to children that need it. Do you have to go through any drug tests or... Uh, driver's, uh, driver's yeah. license checking um, and all that kind of good stuff? Obviously working with children, uh, we take that very seriously. Yeah, you would have our, to. our state and federal funders also have yeah. requirements and a high standard. Um, so there is a pretty extensive uh, uh, background check process. Um, as don't, we, be, don't be afraid nope, of it. No, nope. and there's also some uh, FBI fingerprinting that has to be done. So we can assure when grandparents are, uh, there's a 20 hour training process and then some shadowing time. Uh, where they can get some more one-on-one -on -one exposure, uh, but combine that with the background checks, and we do a very thorough job getting grandparents ready to just so volunteer. Once they get through that, they'll be able to watch uh, yep. CISI and, <laughs> yeah. and know how to yeah. and do everything, right? Sure, sure, yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the Washington Life Center, it's it's a volunteer organization, or? Well, it, volunteers make it the world make go round the world. down there, sure, okay. yeah. Um, it, we're always looking for people to help out with different events. Uh, you know, with Christmas and December here, things don't slow down at the end of the year. We have, uh, we're always working two, three months ahead of time, scheduling speakers to come in and oh, share okay. knowledge on different events. Um, you know, as a member, you have access to legal aid. Um, there's also Tai Chi classes, yoga, Zumba, cards, um, puzzles, and like you mentioned, the Vets Museum. Uh, they, if there's a veteran out there that's would like to connect with some other veterans. Um, you know, there's also medical um, supplies if needed, walkers, chairs, uh, personal needs. Oh, Those great. are available Another through us as well. Uh, like a lending uh, library lending, yeah. of equipment. Exactly. Yep. Oh wow, that's and very And folks helpful. donate things after you know they may not have a need for anymore. They bring them in, and we get them in somebody's hands that does need those items. Good. Good. Anything we've missed? Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the benefits of being Good. a foster grandparent. Um, 
it is you would be they would be paid a tax exempt stipend um, and would not affect any uh, cost of living of pension or social oh, security wonderful. or Medicaid. Uh, it would average is to be about two hundred dollars a month, uh, so it doesn't put a burden on the grandparent financially. Um, there's reimbursement for mileage. Uh, you would get a meal uh, during the time that you volunteer. Um, there's paid um, training, uh, different uh, sort of assistance they're helping with an annual physical, um, and just, just perks of being around good people that just want to invest in the children. Well, I like that part because uh, so many seniors that I've met and, and know uh, are lonely, and this yeah. is a good way not to be lonely. Yeah, and, and a lot of times if they do have family, you know, life is busy. You can't get around that. Or, um, sometimes their children live out of state or far away right, or they don't right. see them and it, it just gives them purpose to get out of bed every day um, and to just, just have a good impact in the community. Well, super. So if people want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Um, they can call us directly at the Council on Aging at 810-987-8813. Uh, they could ask for Jason or Laura and we'll get them pointed in the right direction. Okay, that was 8, 987-8813, an yes. easy number. Yep. And uh, Jason or Laura, and they'll get you, get you all signed yep. up. And how about Washington Life? How do I get involved with Washington Life? Well, it, actually, to connect with any of the centers, a good way to start is 984-5061. Remember, you don't have to be over 55 to be a member. Okay. Um, so someone that's just looking for something to do, that'd be a good place to start with that number, and then they can connect you with whoever, whatever center's lo local for you. Great. Okay. Gentlemen? Happy holidays to both of you. you too. You're doing great work for the community, and we salute you for that. It's, uh, it's great stuff that you're doing. Keep Thanks. it up. Keep it up. We're back with uh, one of our next guests in just a second. We needed a smiling face for December, and we brought one here by the name of Deb Johnson. Welcome back to the Focus Set. Nice to see you. It's nice to be here, Paul. Good to see you, too. Holidays are upon us. They sure are. I can't even believe, where has the time gone? It's yeah. flown right by. I sent you all my sizes so that you get the uh, right yeah. gift. I was, I was online, Black Friday, <laughs> or Internet, Cyber, what do you call it? Inter uh, Whatever it Monday. is. Monday. What's Monday? Black Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a real big Internet girl. Right. <laughs> But uh, it is a fun time of year for many people, but it's also a difficult time of year for other people. Yes. And um, I think, you know, some of the things we talk about, you know, just having holiday stress or the blues during the holidays, um, that, that can happen. But there's some simple things you can do to try to avoid that. But, you know, some of the things I think that cause the holiday stress are, um, or the blues are, we, we sometimes, spe people spend too much money, money yep. they don't yep. have, yep. Um, and that stresses them out. That's these guys um, here. Um, <laughs> um, and, and, you know, there's a lot of ways to give free gifts. Um, you can give a gift of service, like a babysitting coupon, a clean the house coupon. Make uh, some jelly. Make some jelly. Yeah, make homemade gifts. Yeah. Um, make those cookie mix things. There's a lot of things you can do to be thoughtful um, mm -hmm. without spending a lot of money. Um, do a service. So anyways, um, so that's one thing that can cause stress. And then not knowing if you're buying the right gift. Like mm -hmm. people stress, like they got to get the perfect gift. gift. I kind of used to be like that. Like I like to get... I like I like buying stuff for people, and I like to see them like, oh, oh my God, I wanted that stuff for so long. <laughs> so I understand that one a lot because um, yeah. I, I do stress out sometimes about that. But then I think when all is said and done, you know, that's not what's most important. So um, so there's that. There's never seems to be enough time. There's some. There's a lot of holiday parties. There's a lot of things that you need to do to prepare for the holidays. Um, and then um, this one is, of the things we do as a group, all of us, is we try and see all our friends yeah. during the holidays. Wait a minute. You got 11 other months where you can get together with Betty or Bob. Right. Why don't you do it all? Yeah, do it throughout Why the year. Why are you doing it all in one week? We don't have to have a bunch of holiday parties uh, in the couple weeks preceding Christmas or right. whatever, New Year's. But um, but there's that. And then there's a, there's also that people who you might have avoided certain family members throughout the year. Yep. And somehow you think you're going to get together at the holidays and everything's going to be awesome. Well, it's probably not going to be if it wasn't all year long. Um, and so you might have false expectations about that or, you, or you're stressed about it. Um, and we talk about the Hallmark holidays. And I was on Paul Miller's show the other day, and I was talking about um, 
I, I had recently had some surgery, so I had to be, I was grounded to the couch for the last several weeks. I just got ungrounded last week. But anyways, I watched a ton of Hallmark movies. Right. And they are feel-good movies, but that's not reality. Right, and, um, right. You know, and so. Um, but, but it sells a lot of Kleenex. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but, but, but there's happy ones, too. There's fun ones. Right. But anyway, so don't, don't um, get that idea that that's what your holiday needs to be like. Um, you know, uh, so anyway, so. Uh, so those kind of expectations have realistic expectations. So, um, so in, with family differences, you know, you might want to just agree to set aside your differences and mm -hmm. then come together mm -hmm. um, and try to celebrate. Because really, I think things like the holiday season are about family. I mean, that's family and your friends, um, people that support you throughout the year. But that's what it should be more about and, and um, getting together and being yeah. thankful and, yeah. you know, counting your blessings that you have because even though there's some things maybe not going great in your life I bet you there's a lot of things that are and people need to kind of focus on that I think so um, so there's that and then there's always people overeat at the holidays mm -hmm. me included mm -hmm. um, I just went to Weight Watchers yet though today <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyways I'm um, so so try to stick to your healthy habits you know try to eat reasonable it's okay you know snack on a piece of fudge but don't eat 10 pieces right. at one sitting things like that with the cookies and and um, exercise, maybe step up your walking during that time if that's what you do, or you know, try to get out and get some, some healthy physical exercise. So those are all things that will help you out. Um, and then, um, and the one thing I wanna say is sometimes people talk about holiday, they call it holiday depression. And when we talk about depression, we talk about real clinical depression. That's different than what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is more, it's situational. Um, but if you are feeling down and sad and and you know, um, have a loss of appetite. You're not sleeping right, or you're sleeping too much. Um, and those those symptoms. Maybe you lost a partner during the year, or whatever. Yeah, and, but but if the symptoms persist more than a, like a couple of weeks, you need to go to the doctor. Okay. And or call mental okay. health because okay. that might not be. Um, that's not just the holiday stress or the blues. Um, but I'm glad you talked about if you lost somebody during the year because that's another thing that does cause the holiday blues. Right. A lot of people. It's, it's sad because this is the first year without somebody for right. Christmas or New Year's, but, but that's still different than if you just can't get yourself out of bed or you, you, you don't have any interest in the things you used to have interest in um, or you, or you can't for help. sleep. Yeah, you need to ask for help, so reach out. And one of the things that we offer at, through Community Mental Health, and it's free, it's called My Strength, mm. and it's, it's an online app, app and um, if you have a smartphone or you can do it on your computer, you need an access code. Um, but first of all, you, you can download, if, if you're on your phone, you go to the App Store or iPad, and it's, it's called My Strength. It's just M-Y Strength, and, um, and it's a free app. You download it. But then as you, when you open it up, you need an access code, and the access code for St. Clair County, we purchased this to, and, and the right to share it with our, right. our community, is S-C-W-E-L-L. -L. So S-C-Well. Oh, S-C. -E like St. Clair. -L -L. Yeah. St. Clair Well. Yeah, St. Clair Well. Um, so that's the access code. Um, and if you want to do it through your computer, you would just go to um, um, mystrength.com and pull it up. So anyways, it asks you some questions about yourself and your situation and maybe some issues that you feel you have. And then it personalizes a program for you. And it will send you daily motivational messages, Wonderful. tips. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool things. So you don't have to have a severe mental illness or anything mm -hmm. to use and benefit from the MyStrength app. We Anybody, can all use a little encouragement yeah. every day. And all, all of our staff, um, pretty much we've all downloaded, most of us have downloaded it, and we get the little messages and, um, and different things. So it's, pre it's a pretty cool app, and it's um, some people who maybe aren't ready to go talking and sharing with others might prefer the online version. you got a couple things coming up. Uh, holiday uh, school art contest, what's that all about? Um, it's not really the holiday. This is our annual art. It comes through around oh, the high school. I'm reading yeah. upside down. That's okay. It comes. It comes during this time of the year, though. And actually, the the deadline to submit the art and writing is January 19th, um, because it's it's the artwork that we use for our annual report next year, the billboard, all of our marketing. Our you theme, get some real notoriety as being the winner. You do. Um, you're on billboards. It's very cool. Um, we use it for a lot of things. And this year's theme is um, leading healthy and happy lives by design. Um, so that's our theme. So there'll be the poster contest. It's open up. To, it's open to all area high school students. Um, and then the writing contest is, is middle school students. And you don't have to. You don't have to be. Um, 
you could be homeschooled, you could be at a parochial school, um, just because your school might not have gotten this at the school, although we send it to everybody, but sometimes it doesn't filter to the kids. Right. So you can go online to our website, you can download that, the stuff um, that, you know, that gives you this, the specifics about um, what you need to do to submit your, um, uh, your entry. So um, it's open to anybody as long as you're in that age range, the high school or the middle, high school's art, and uh, middle school is writing. Haven't we had a couple winners from the St. Clair and Marine City area? Yes, we've had a number of kids from um, St. Clair and uh, Marine City that have won in the contest in the past, um, and they have. We even featured some of the kids on the show. Um, yeah, right. Not this past year, we didn't. We did it the year before. We'll have to I do think. it again. So next we year. should do it next yeah. year. So there, there'd be so one. You want to be on TV? You want to be on uh, TV, enter yeah, our contest, yeah. and be a winner. Yeah. But also, the grand prize is two hundred fifty dollars cash. Oh, that's more important than being yeah, on TV. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> um, you get a hundred dollars for first place, seventy-five for second, and fifty dollars for third for both contests. Okay. Um, and then winners are published in our annual report, which goes out um, all over St. Clair County, um, and uh, and we and we use the the artwork for a lot of stuff. And oh, yeah. your poster hangs here in the hallways of Channel 6. Right. And we'll make sure. And we have those all over the county, right. too. So, yeah. All right. so that's what it. else have we got? That is really pretty much it. I mean, I just wanted to, you know, give you the talk about the uh, holidays. Oh, be happy. We, she threw one up there. Oh. oh, May is mental health. Boy, you guys did a good job. Oh, that's the previous one. That's just showing you last year's winner. Oh. Last year, our theme was be happy, be healthy, be strong. And, um, and we use that through all during the month of May because May is Mental Health Month. Um, so we promote, and that's Jessica Ryan, St. Clair High School. Yeah, beautiful. It's a nice job. That's and a beautiful Jessica, job. when I saw that name, I said, your name seems familiar. Did you <laughs> enter this contest before? And she said, yes. And she just, um, and she actually placed before, but now she, she didn't give up. So um, there you go. I admire the persistence and, you know, keep trying and look, try, try again. And she's the grand prize winner. Happy so, holidays. Happy holidays to you. See Great you to be here. Uh, in January, ma'am. We'll talk about our New Year's resolution. Yes. How about that? <laughs> How much weight I'm going to lose and all that kind Me of good too. stuff. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> Thanks. Deb Johnson, always a pleasant person to have here on the Focus program. And we've got another pleasant person coming along with a great program, Riley Alley. And she's going to talk about Dolly Parton's uh, Imagination uh, Library, I think it's called. Yes. And that's a great program that you can get involved in in just a second. Never learn any of these names. Well, I'm back and I'm still talking. Riley Alley joins us from the Great Start Collaborative. Great Start I can't, Collaborative. You're getting better. I can't say it, but I'm, I, I think it's a great program. <laughs> Riley's got some wonderful information for us about young young people. Talk to me. Get yes. me out of this. So, <laughs> I'll talk to you all about it. So we're talking about Imagination Library. It's right, a that's it. Great program that came to our county in 2012. Um, it was started by Dolly Parton in her hometown in Tennessee, and it was her whole goal was to get books in the hands of kids. Kids need to have books in order to um, develop the love of reading and to be able to then learn to read. And so when it was a success there, she decided to open it up to any county that is willing to fund the program. And so we are... It's pretty gone, pretty wild. All, it all, is. All, it all, is far all... Far and wide all over the country. All over the U.S. It's in um, Canada. It's, it's everywhere. And so we are lucky enough that St. Clair County Risa and the United Way of St. Clair County have stepped up and that is who's funding our program. And then we supplement that funding with um, grants from the Community Foundation. We get support from um, the local rotaries. We get Kiwanis groups to help. And then we get um, just donations from people who get the books and want to give back. OK, you told me when we, before we started that this book here is the first book. That, that's the last one. That's the last one. I'm, so, I'm always good. So that is the first book. Every child who registers for the program gets the little engine that could. And that is the very first book. It's Dolly Parton's favorite book. And so every child in our county that is registered has that book in their house. So Dolly Parton picked this book herself as the first book, huh? That is her favorite book. That is, so, yeah. That's a great little book. And so once I receive this book, what happens? So then after that, every single month after that until their fifth birthday, they're going to receive another book. Till their fifth birthday? Till their fifth birthday. And on their fifth birthday, the month of their fifth birthday, they get the um, Lookout Kindergarten, Here I Come. And okay. so that's the last book of the program, and that's the book they'll get before they enter kindergarten. 
and the, the, that's a great title. Look out, kindergarten, here I come. Yeah, so they're, they should be excited. They get to see what kindergarten's about. They get to um, have that excitement that they're going to be going to kindergarten next. But all of a sudden, a book is their friend. Yes. after all of this, all these months. Yes, and so they, it really is a program that's going to develop that love of reading. I mean, they get that book in the mail. It has their name on it on the back, their address, and it drives that excitement. Like, I have a new right. book. Mom, sit down. Dad, sit down with me and read with me. So not only it drives that excitement, it really increases that parent-child interaction because what parent is going to say no when the child wants to read right then and there? And so it's really developing that. It's going to help build those skills if they love reading then by the time they get to kindergarten and start to learn to read, they're going to be ready. They're going to be wanting to learn. Uh, how can the people, people help? So it's a great time right now. You yeah. said prior that it's the giving season right now. Right. So we are always looking for support. It costs us about $25 per child per year to provide the books. So that's just over about $2 a book when you think they're getting 12 in a year. Price, yeah. And that's, and, and um, so Dolly Parton's foundation definitely supplements it, but us locally, we're paying $25 per child per year or for um, a child to get all five years, it's $125 for five years. So if people want to give back, they can write us a check to Teresa. They can go right on our website, which is greatstartstclair.org, and they can make a donation that way as well, um, really to support more kids to be in this program. And the topics in the book are, are, are what? They're a little bit of everything? They are. So they are actually picked by a panel of early childhood specialists that Dolly Parton has. Okay. And they go through and they pick them based on um, age appropriateness and if they're different. And so we have the babies are going to get board books. And we have, as they get older, they're going to get a little bit more um, in depth. We have some books that are um, dual language. So that one has oh. some Spanish in it so we can really try to reach a whole gamut of um, individuals and topics and and they're different books they're dip books that you might not necessarily see in the store and that you would na naturally pick out um, they're, they're books that you would not see those titles so I can send a check to Risa I mm -hmm. can um, sponsor a kid for a year or for the whole time $125 mm -hmm. or $25 uh, um, um, for the for the one year for the one year yeah. uh, Wow, it, it's, it's really good. Now, it comes to my house, what if I move? So if you move, that is a great question. If you move, you do have to call us to change the address. The books are sent bulk mail. So unfortunately, the post office can't forward them to your new address. Okay. So if you give us a call, we go in the system, we change that address for you, and then the books will continue picking up right where you left off. But it's and absolutely free. It's completely free. There's no strings attached. I mean, we want all these kids to have these books. We have just under 10,000 kids in our county, zero to five, and we have just about 4,300 kids registered at this point. So you got room for more. We have room for more. We have just over 4,000 children have graduated from the program who have gone through and turned five and are now out and the feedback we do do a survey every year and the feedback we hear from parents is that they love the program that it really does increase the time they spend with their kids um, a lot of parents say that these books are their children's favorite books I know my kids get them and these are the books that are worn out um, some people there if you have multiple children in the home all children can get the program um, but you might end up with duplicate books. I was just going to say, so it does happen. So you might have... Sammy and Bobby are two years apart, and they may get the same book through. But. They might. There's, there definitely is a variety, but um, like Llama Llama, they're never going to get rid of Llama Llama Red Pajama. That's a popular book. Llama, Llama Llama Red Pajama, I like Everybody that. loves that book. So that book they're going to keep, so all your kids are going to end up with that book. But the positive is, is that it has the child's name on the back, so there's that ownership. So now all of your kids have it. Um, we carry the books. Can I put that up? Uh, there's where the child's name is. I don't know how... I you can zoom in any more than that. Yes, so that book the, came to us at Risa. Yeah, and so there's a label on the back of the book, and there's the child's name right there. Yeah. And the city address and the whole bit. So they can, That's exciting too, right It's there. exciting, and they can learn their address. So think about everything that just comes in the label and the excitement. Yeah. And then my kids have worn out books, so the duplicates have helped me because now I have a book that isn't ripped and it's a book that's new. I um, take the multiple books. I have one in the car and one at home. So there's so many ways that you can use those duplicates. So, and these books, uh, it says $5.99, uh, $7.50 in Canada. And they are, they're really beautiful. They're not seconds. 
They're, no, they're all brand no. new. They are completely brand new. Your child's getting it for the first time, and that's their book. Um, if so you, they come like this, or are they wrapped? They are wrapped in plastic from the post office. They're wrapped in plastic, so all you have to do is open up the plastic. Um, I think but, it's a great program. And if you look in the... Um, in the soft cover books, there is a flap on the inside and oh, the yeah. back, and that gives parents some tips on what they can be doing after the story. They can, there's some questions, there's some things you can talk to your child about wow. the reading. So it's really even extending the learning that much more. And it all started with one person again. It it's always amazes me how one person can change so many things. One person by the name of Dolly Parton, yes. who had a, a, a stage to talk from, and she came up with this concept. and. Uh, how many thousands of books has she distributed across the nation? I'm not Hundreds sure across the nation, but since since we started in 2012 in St. Clair County, we have distributed um, over 230,000 books. 230,000 books have gone out to kids. Congratulations! In our so. That's that's absolutely marvelous. Yes, yeah, so that's a great you can, program. You can just imagine what kind of an influence that is on the children. Mm -hmm. That you it's are cool. putting this in the hands of kids. Pretty cool. So, give me the money again. Tell me where to send the money again. So it's about $25 per year um, per child, or $125 does five years. That's 60 books. That's a full library for a child. Um, they can go right to greatstartstclair.org, and under the Imagination Library, they can make a donation right there, or they can send a check right to Risa. Re Riley Alley, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Doing great work, this lady. Doing great work, and uh, she's got a whole staff of people that works for her and with her at uh, Risa, and they're doing great things for all the youth of our, uh, of our county and our area, and you can help them, and we need your help at this time of year. That's about it for this edition of the Focus Program. Thanks very much for tuning in, and until next week, I'm Paul Dingman. See you soon. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.